Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm really excited because today I'm at the Alan Hudson classroom at their blog and sharing this card that I'm making for the Mix It Up Challenge. So that means I get to share some products from both the Essentials by Alan product line and combine it with the Altenew stamps and I'm using their inks as well today so a lot of fun. I decided to stamp out my own background and I have a piece of cardstock and using some Altenew inks this is the Mountain Mist colour is the lighter one and I'm rotating this beautiful leaf image now this is a real kind of retro style leaf and it's from a set called Rustic Botanicals that was created by Julie Ebersole and I love it it's a beautiful set so once I've finished stamping out the first colour, the second one that I'm going to be using is the Volcano Lake, which is a really pretty colour too. So this was really easy to kind of line up and each line of leaf, I've flipped the leaf around but focused all the lighter ink on one side of the card and the darker on the other, sort of creating that ombre effect. It was a very easy panel to stamp out, it took no time at all. <laughs> Probably took me longer to edit it than <laughs> to actually stamp it. Alright, so I'm going to create my flowers now to go on the panel. This is going to be the focal point of my card and I'm using the set that was created for the Essentials by Alan Range with Altenew. This is a collaboration set and it's amazingly beautiful and it's called poppy field and I've used the uh, I'm gonna I want three different colors of poppy so I've got a yellow one and I use the citrus citrus <laughs> citrus burst and the shadow color was called sun kissed then the second the orange poppy I did with sun kissed and then one of my favorite colors ever which is called orange cream I used a Copic marker to color in the center of my flower and then stamped out the centers that come in the set with the industrial diamond so these leaves are from the rustic botanical set and I created sort of two tones in them by using the the cubes of Altenew ink you could do this with the bigger ink pads it just would be a little bit more difficult but I stamped the lighter color which is the parrot onto this onto the leaf image and then stamped the edges with the moss ink and I am going to stamp three of those because we all know that odd numbers look good too I've got the coordinating dies for both of the stamp sets um, actually the poppy field stamp set comes with coordinating dies I think <laughs> if not you should get them they're amazing <laughs> and I'm just going to run these all through my die cutting machine the last color that I'm going to use for this for my puppy is the coral berry and then I use the ruby red as the shadow color and this just blew me away it was so beautiful there is an outline stamp in this set as well I should say I just chose not to use it today and that's one of the best things about these layering stamp sets you can use either part of them all of them some of them only the outline everything it doesn't matter so easy and so versatile the sentiment comes from the poppy field stamp set as well and I didn't stamp it in black I did stamp it in the industrial diamond so now it's time to put my card together I've got a top fold card and I've added some fun foam to my background I have cut it down to fit the card front you know just leaving a light white border around the whole edge I'm popping up all my flowers no I'm not I'm popping up some of my flowers and adding some tape runner to the leaves and the orange flower I decided to actually use tape runner and adhere it directly to the panel as well it's just good to have different sort of heights of your embellies it just adds a bit of interest to your card so if you're here in October 2017 I'd love to see what you can do combining the essentials by Alan Hudson 
stamp and die range along with Ulta New. What a good combination. It's so much fun. I know I had a blast making this card. So it, all I have to do now is just pop my little bouquet together and I'm finished. Thanks so much for joining me today. I've had such a fun time. Head over to the Alan Hudson Mix It Up Challenge. I'll put the link in the YouTube description below and look forward to seeing you there. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.